Do you ever worry that your kids lack motivation and resilience? Do you wish you could discover their secret source for self-drive? Well, the solution isn't about pushing them harder. It's about nurturing inner spark. See, we all have an innate drive to grow into our best selves, but that ember needs careful tending through childhood so it ignites into a lifelong flame. If kids lack inner fire, they drift through life overly reliant on external validation, yet intrinsic motivation makes them unstoppable. So how do we fan that flame? How do parents shift from controlling overseers to inspirational mentors? The keys are transforming stress to strength, balancing guidance with autonomy and awakening curiosity into passion. Do this right, and children gain grit to handle anything while staying true to their cause. This isn't about achievement. It's about equipping kids to lead rich lives on their own terms. It takes wisdom and intuition, not formulas. Ready to learn the framework. Join me to discover the art of nurturing your child's self-drive by meeting key needs they can tap into forever. Let's build inner resilience together. What's up, everyone? Every day here we dive into a book that's either a bestseller or something you probably ain't heard about before, but is mad interesting. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that button and join the squad. As we examine how parents can effectively support children's self-driven growth, we must shift from the traditional challenge effort model to the more holistic stress sense of control model. This practical shift impacts how parents interact with children and guide them through challenges. The challenge effort model focuses narrowly on removing obstacles and facilitating the child's efforts as the sole path to success. However, this ignores the child's inner drives and emotions, sometimes causing over-reliance on external guidance rather than self-direction. In contrast, the stress sense of control model emphasizes supporting the child's individual coping skills and autonomy in navigating life's stresses. Parents provide appropriate resources while teaching children stress management and nurturing their sense of control when facing difficulties. For example, when academic challenges arise, parents can discuss the underlying causes and collaborative solutions with the child. This builds vital problem-solving abilities and self-confidence alongside practical skills. This model also stresses addressing kids' emotional needs. Parents should listen and empathize instead of just pushing achievement. For instance, when social issues test a child, encourage them to open up about their feelings while providing emotional support. This builds healthy social confidence. Shifting mindsets allows parents to foster growth plus self-reliant thinking. Kids gain a positive, proactive attitude toward future obstacles. They cultivate resilient personalities marked by confidence and autonomy. The stress control approach simply prepares children in a healthier, more well-rounded way. I aimed for a more informal, spoken style using contractions and simplified vocabulary. Please let me know if you would like me to clarify or expand on any sections further. I'm happy to revise the text until it meets your needs for a conversational script that flows smoothly when reading aloud. Just say the word. When looking at developing self-drive, we need to understand stress and its tricky role. Though often seen negatively, stress actually serves kids in multiple ways, it can spur growth and helps them adapt by learning to conquer challenges. A new environment illustrates this well, like transferring classes. Here, stress might just motivate a kid to leave their comfort zone, try new things and make friends. This positive stress supplies essential pressure to unlock potential so kids can surmount obstacles. In everyday terms, Positive stress puts fire in the belly to step up. By managing it, children build coping skills to handle whatever comes at them. This breeds resilience for life's curveballs down the road. 
so some stress can actually empower kids by stirring self-reliance. A new class shows how stress can motivate. It might spur a kid to break old patterns, get curious and make buddies. This good stress supplies key pressure to tap potential so kids can tackle obstacles. But we can't ignore when stress goes bad. Chronic extreme stress, especially without support, damages mental health and learning. So if kids seem excessively stressed, parents should ask, is this the productive kind or the toxic kind? Stress from a big game or new school year drives growth. Tolerable stress, like overcoming difficulties, builds grit with help. But toxic stress, like constant conflict or bullying, requires vigilance and intervention. The goal is to protect and empower, not rescue. Kids need tools for managing stress of all kinds, not circumventing it. Guiding them through it builds lifelong coping skills from the inside out. I aimed for clear, everyday language, while preserving the core contrast between different stress types. Please let me know if any sections need more clarification or explanation for a conversational flow. I'm happy to refine the script further. Parents have go-to moves for handling kids' stress too. First, build a supportive zone so children know it's okay to struggle. Second, equip them with coping tools like organizing skills, emotion control, and requesting backup. Also, watch for mood shifts that signal tricky stress. In essence, properly addressing stress cultivates grit and well-being. Careful stress management isn't about removing pressure, but fostering self-reliance to take it on. The goal is raising kids to be assured, resilient, and driven without losing steam. When parents set the stage for positively confronting stress, Children learn to face forward, seek solutions, and ask for help without fear of judgment. Instead of being paralyzed by pressure, they build emotional muscles to adapt and overcome challenges with maturity and wisdom beyond their years. As we dig deeper into parenting's role, the goal isn't just reducing bad stress. It's judgment training so kids can respond resiliently despite challenges. Considering kids still developing brains, parents should mentor like a sage guide. Teach discernment between stress types and effective coping. This means support plus emotional self-regulation skills, not rescue. A key concept here is control. Control isn't letting kids rule the roost in all matters. It's guidance in learning how to make wise, accountable choices. For example, collaborate on study plans through suggestions, but let them decide. This builds independent thinking. In essence, walk beside children through stress storms. Build their decision-making stamina. The outcome is informed self-leaders who know how to healthfully navigate life's pressures to unlock their best selves. Control shifts from external restraints to inner strength and direction. In this light, parenting becomes a flexible partnership, not an ironclad rulebook. It's built on mutual respect as parents tune in to understand kids' needs and struggles. Meanwhile, children learn to trust parental wisdom gained from experience. This approach addresses immediate stresses while laying long-term foundations of competence and confidence. Parents evolve from hands-on mentors to trusted advisors. Children gain self-growth skills that unlock their best selves. The impact cascades into future careers, relationships, and overall wellness. By handling present growing pains with insight and care, parents help kids blossom into capable, self-assured adults. They become empowered decision-makers, grounded in their own inner resources to navigate life with resilience and wisdom. In essence, this partnership method isn't a one-size-fits-all formula, but an art and a an science. It's a way of being that requires presence, intuition, patience and trust from both sides. The reward is the gift of nurturing children into the strongest, truest expression of themselves.
Now we'll tackle that balance between guidance and letting kids steer. It's not just about stepping back. Parents must actively calibrate support, tread wisely between intervention and ignored expectations. Recognize each phase has distinct needs. Say, teens start longing for autonomy, so shift from mentoring directives to just advising. Give them options, then fill knowledge gaps so choices are informed by logic, not impulse. Parents can share experience, walk through perspectives, and riff on potential outcomes together. This builds decision muscle instead of just granting empty freedom that sets kids adrift. The goal is helping them integrate your hard-earned wisdom into their own internal value system. In essence, don't just set boundaries then withdraw out of their lives. Move alongside into an active supporting role. Seed their decision process with insight through open dialogue. Guide development of mature judgment without commandeering the controls. The outcome of this dance is thoughtful self-direction, not rebel reaction. Letting go doesn't mean dropping the reins completely, though. Parents still need to spot, check decisions, gauge risks and have their kids back. It's about blending freedom with safe boundaries so they can experiment without train wrecking. And managing expectations is key too. It's natural to feel worried or let down when choices don't align. But project that onto kids and family harmony nosedives. Vent expectations elsewhere to maintain an upbeat, supportive home environment. Finally, remember each child is unique with distinct needs and talents, so customize guidance to help them discover their own path and potential instead of squeezing them into prefab molds. Help them sculpt decision skills and self-awareness that empower their special gifts to shine. When parents blend balanced oversight with room to explore, children blossom both in skill and spirit. Monitor with care, reframe expectations, and celebrate their individuality. This fosters sound judgment plus the confidence to forge their one-of-a-kind life adventure. Growth's secret source also requires stirring up inner drive beyond managing stress or control. We're talking motivation that brews from within, that urge to dive in based on interest, curiosity and self-growth, not accolades. This intrinsic motivation fuels long-term development. Number one, fan kids' curiosity flames. Curiosity kicks learning into high gear. A curious kid will devour topics and activities eagerly. Parents can spark that inquisitiveness through diverse inputs. Maybe museums, books across genres, workshops to expose many lenses. That hunger for discovery then snowballs into linking concepts, raising questions, finding meaning and connections. Kids stretch their abilities without external reward because novelty and challenge itself drives them. And these analytical thinking muscles become the foundation for blossoming talents and purpose that shape their future. The key is exposure. Help them uncover passions they can dive joyfully into. Fan those sparks into flames by celebrating intellectual adventure over test scores. Nurture playfulness, imagination and problem-solving through engaged discussion, not forced academics. Inspiration encourages the self-motivation that enables incredible achievement. Also, urge kids to chase interests and passions, whether that's arts, sports or science. This shows learning isn't just box-checking, it's self-discovery and expression that unlocks their best life. And sensible challenges build motivation too. Keep difficulty calibrated to avoid boredom and frustration. Conquering challenges fuels self-efficacy, driving further thirst for growth. Most of all, nurture autonomy and self-esteem. Kids tap into internal drive when they feel heard and respected. Support their choices without micromanaging, even if imperfect. Praise effort, not just outcomes. This makes them feel valued for who they are, 
not what they achieve, building resilience to keep stepping bravely towards self-realization. In essence, motivation combusts through following inspirations, overcoming meaningful challenges and unconditional support to flex their wings. Curiosity then momentum propels them to own their development. The outcome is engaged, self-directed kids with grit to handle obstacles and resilience to find their brightest selves. Use these approaches to help kids build hardcore internal drive for self-led growth. This intrinsic motivation turbocharges academic success. But even beyond that, it transforms them into self-assured, independent and creative grown-ups. See, skills can be taught, but inner resilience can't. Kids fueled by inspiration from within learn how to dance with uncertainty, welcome new challenges without fear, and stay true to their cause throughout life's twists and turns. Raising kids powered by internal motivation is harder work than commanding obedience, but the personal responsibility curiosity and self-awareness, it builds crafts, strong character and conviction from the inside out. So guide and support kids as their own ultimate teachers. Fan the flames of fascination early. Encourage inquisitive thinking over perfectionism. Nurture self-esteem above achievement. Set the stage through your influence, then set them free to self-actualize. This gift keeps giving long after childhood as the fruits of self-driven lives blossom for years to come. Let's break down those core motivators, autonomy, competence, proactivity, into parenting moves. First, understand real autonomy isn't just open options. It's making kids feel their choices matter through respect. Guide, don't dictate. If a kid shows interest in hobbies, suggest lanes, but let them pick roads. This simultaneously builds decision-making chops and self-esteem. Competence means conquering realistic challenges that push limits while setting them up to win. As in sports or arts, break larger goals into progressive baby steps. Offer support to attempt higher levels without assuming control. Earned advancement through incremental gains builds grit to opt in rather than quit. Finally, belonging feeds the soul. Bonded differently with peers, teachers, family stands central. Consistent warmth, acceptance and involvement makes kids feel valued for who they are. This social-emotional foundation lends confidence and resilience to explore freely. Met together, these needs weave intrinsic motivation and personal responsibility. Curiosity and self-direction become character strengths rather than risks to control. Kids feel equipped to handle life proactively through inner reserves. That's the key to raising leaders of their own lives. Regarding competence, it's less about praise for outcomes than applauding effort and progress. Like if a kid makes even tiny strides learning guitar, notice and validate their grit. This builds momentum to persist through frustration. Belonging fills the tank through felt connection. Weave affection into mundane moments so kids truly feel seen. Share laughs, listen without judgment, empathize in their pain. Do life alongside them. This emotional tether builds confidence to explore freely. Target these key motivators in tandem and kids ignite inner spark for self-directed growth. Curiosity feeds competence to conquer tougher challenges. Resilience springs from belonging that cushions falls. Soon intrinsic drive propels them to own their development, academically and beyond. This motivation is a renewable resource they can tap forever. It shapes a glass-half-full outlook fueled from within. Purpose and self-knowledge grow organically without external reward or punishment. Kids bloom into responsible, creative leaders of their own lives precisely because they feel equipped to handle what comes, and that unshakable faith in their abilities becomes the foundation that all future success builds upon. The spark of self-motivation lives in every child. 
As parents, it's our sacred duty to be humble nurturers of that inner light. Through care, intuition and respect, we can cultivate enduring intrinsic drive to empower kids for life's adventures. So first, reflect on where your parenting style may unconsciously sabotage motivation. Do you rescue too much instead of letting natural consequences teach grit? Do you praise outcomes over effort? Making space for children to self-actualize takes mindfulness. Next, have an open discussion with your kids. Ask what interests and challenges them. Then brainstorm fun ways to support their growth. Set some collaborative goals around autonomy. Simply showing you want to be their partner in this journey works magic. Finally, get curious about nurturing their uniqueness. What weird hobbies align with innate talents? Encourage those without judgment. Help them recognize the developmental power in following personal fascinations with freedom. The key is being a calm, empathetic observer who knows when to step in versus step back. Parent from inspiration, not expectation. Guide growth while letting go. Do this, and intrinsic motivation will reward your whole family for a lifetime.